Mae'r pwyllgor iechyd o gwasanaethau cymdeithasol wrth i'n cynnal ymchwiliad i sylweddau sy'n gweithredol newydd, neu gyffuriau penfeddwol cyfreithlon yng Nghymru. Dyma waith yr ymchwiliad hyd yma. Mae'n llawer o gymunedau y dyddiau hyn. Mae sylweddau a mae pobl yn y galw cyffuriau penfeddwol cyffeithlon, mae legal highs. Ond mae ei galw nhw'n cyffeithlon yn gamarweiniol am fod hynny awgrymu a'u bod nhw'n ddiogel. Dyna ni ddim eto deall dygon beth yw cyfeiriau ar problemau hyn, neu angen ni'n ni gael rhago o wybodaeth amdani nhw. Dyna ni'n gofyn i sefydliadau fel Llwodraeth Cymru, y Heddlu a Gwasanaethau Iechyd, beth mae nhw'n ei wybod am y sylweddi hyn a pha addysg sy'n cael ei rhoi i gymunedau amdani nhw. Lansiodd y Pwyllgor yr ymchwiliad ym mis Mehefin 2014. Lluniodd y Pwyllgor ar olwg a chasglwyd safbwyntiau gan dros un fil o gyfranwyr. Yn mis Medi 2014, rhan oedd y Pwyllgor yn ddau grŵp er mwyn ymweld â darparwyr a ddefnyddwyr glasanaethau yn Wrexham am Erthyd Tidfil. Dymryd hyn dweudodd rhoi o'r cyfranogwyr. Today I went to voluntary action in Merthyr Tydfil to discuss a governmental approach to tackling the problem of new psychoactive substances, often called legal highs. We discussed the impact that new psychoactive substances have in our individual areas, uh, the impact that it has on services, and the ability of services to cope with the influx of new drug users. I think the points, that, the main points that were really raised was around um, how we can try and legislate against the drugs, but actually that not being the only answer and us needing to adopt a multifaceted approach, um, primarily looking at prevention and education around novel psychoactive substances, and obviously then support elements to that for people who um, are using them and finding them to be problematic. Daeth cyfanswm o deunaw cyflwyniad ysgrifenedig i lawr pwyllgor fel rhan o'r ymchwiliad, a chawes yn deudynyddio fel rhan o'r sesiynau tysiolaeth lafar. Um, actual statistics are really quite hard to come by because um, we don't really know what the, our, our baselines are for trying to determine this, not least because quite a lot of the substances out there are still legal so they don't necessarily turn up on, on, crime, on crime statistics. It, it would be a sort of foolhardy really to try and, and, and put facts and figures around this other than to say that a number of uh, drug treatment professionals, uh, youth workers and criminal justice workers around the country, including Wales, uh, are expressing concerns uh, about some of these substances and, and the effects that they have. I think that MPS, new psychoactive substances, is a growing issue. Um, certainly we've seen a substantial escalation in use um, since around 2009-10. Particularly in Wales, uh, with synthetic cannabinoid um, use and with stimulant use, so we, we believe that it, it does represent a substantial public health harm and a growing harm. And we feel that the uh, the model in Ireland, whilst we haven't been there either, to find out how successful it's been, surely you know we we would think um, that the legislation that would make it. Um, necessary to, for, for the supplier to show that it's not harmful and, and legal would be better than what we're currently doing, which is just simply playing catch-up. And it's seriously expensive and resource-intensive. I notice there's mention of UK legislation. Is this where we should be working with the UK? I, we believe so, or, absolutely. Or, or should we be sort of following our own path and trying to bring in... There's probably an opportunity, and I could be totally off the mark here, for, for the Welsh Government to be seen to be the leaders. I was in Swansea Prison just two or three weeks ago, and officers there were telling me that their colleagues in Cardiff Prison here were reporting a, an increase in the synthetic cannabinoids. So I think it's on its way. Um, well, our, our evidence shows that. Really. Yes, well, it's on its way. We've been out yeah. about and talking to the people and they're yeah. saying that uh, black mamba and different yes. uh, uh, substances like that are being used commonly in, in prison. Absolutely so, right. Uh, I think uh, we accept and perhaps yeah. you do accept it's on its way. It's, it's definitely on its way, yes. And, and you know, all of the, the necessary strategies need to be put in place before um, it's too late. Beth yw'r camau nesaf. Fel y gwelwch chi, mae llawer o weithgarwch wedi bod fel rhan o ymchwiliad hyd yma. Yn ymbellach yn dechrau cael dalen mwy eglur o materion 
sy'n gysylltiedig a sylweddau psychoweithredol newydd yng Nghymru. Ond bwysig cach, rydym hefyd yn dechrau cael syniad ynghylch rai atebion posibl. Felly, beth yw cam nesaf yn yr ymchwiliad? Byddwn yn defnyddio dystiolaeth a gafwyd hei hyd yma i helpu i baratoi a gafwyd ein sesiwn craffi gyda gwnidog iechyd a gwnasaethau cymdeithasol ar y chwechyd yr ugen o dacwedd. Wedi hynny, byddwn yn ystyried pob dystiolaeth a gasglwyd o yralwg, y grwpiau ffocws, y dystiolaeth ysgrifenedig a dystiolaeth lafa ac yn paratoi y droddiad sy'n gwneud ac ymhellion i llywodraeth Gymru ar y meysydd y teimlwm yma i rago o waith yn ofynnol ymddynt. Yna, bydd llywodraeth Gymru yn ymateb yn ysgrifenedig i adroddiad ac ac ymhellion y pwllgo. Cynhelu dadl ar y adroddiad wedyn yn y sesiwn lawn yn cynulliad. I gael rago o wybodaeth am ymchwiliad, gallwch chi'n dilyn ar Twitter, at iechyd senedd, nac gallwch yn un o asgwrs ar hashtag MPS a hashtag Legal Highs. Gael y diwedd ara dilynwch ni ar Twitter at iechyd senedd. Neu gallwch gael y diwedd ara trwy agor y links isod i dydalen y pwyllgor ar y we ac ar Storify.